Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So far, I have completed seven problems on ratio analysis. In this video, I am going to cover up three more problems. That is 8th, 9th and 10th. So if you are regularly watching all the videos, definitely you are in a position to get a good command on this topic of ratio analysis. In the earlier videos, I've explained you completely regarding the need, importance of ratios, classification of ratios. I've explained all the formulas with interpretation. So if you are interested in getting the complete command, I suggest you watch all the videos. Don't join in between, don't skip in between. If you keep a rhythm of watching one after another video, then definitely you will get a lot of knowledge from these videos. So now I'm going to start the eighth problem. Before starting the eighth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain. Now, see the eighth problem, <clears throat> problem number eight. Krishna and company presents the following information for the year ended 31st December 2018. Credit sales 150,000, cash sales 250,000. Return inward, return inward means sales return. Sales return will be deducted from total sales. Total sales means credit sales as well as cash sales. So we add up both the sales. Credit sales plus cash sales is equal to total sales. From total sales, deduct the return inward, sales return. Then we'll get the net sales. Then closing stock 35,000, opening stock 28,000. Find out inventory turnover ratio. Inventory turnover ratio, the formula is cost of goods sold divided by average inventory or average stock. Stock or inventory means same. And when gross profit is 20% on sales, GP ratio is given 20% on sales. Also calculate inventory holding period. So two things we have to calculate. First of all, we have to calculate the inventory turnover ratio. Secondly, inventory holding period. Both we will calculate. Now, first of all, we need the sales. So credit sales are given 1,50,000. Cash sales are given 2,50,000, add up both, you will get 4 lakh. That 4 lakh is the total sales. From total sales, deduct return inward or sales return. Minus. So 25,000 if you deduct, the net sales will become 3,75,000. So 3,75,000 are the net sales. Now gross profit ratio is given 20% on net sales. So 20% of 3,75,000, you will get 75,000 gross profit, right? Now we know cost of goods sold is sales minus gross profit. So sales are 3,75,000, gross profit is 75,000. So 3,75,000 minus 75,000, 3 lakh is the cost of goods sold. COGS. Now, Average stock. Average stock, the formula is opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. So here in the problem it is given opening stock is 35,000. Uh, closing stock is 35,000. Opening stock is 28,000. So average stock, opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2. 35,000 plus 28 divided by 2. 31,500 is the average stock. Now. Simply we substitute the values in the formula of inventory turnover ratio. The formula for inventory turnover ratio COGS cost of goods sold divided by average stock. The cost of goods sold is 3 lakh and the average stock is 31,500. So 3 lakh divided by 31,500 9.53 times. That means in one year the inventory is converted into sales. 9.53 times that is inventory turnover ratio secondly it is asking you to calculate inventory holding period that means how many days the inventory is converted into sales number of days so for calculating inventory holding period take number of days in a year in the numerator 
डिनोमिनेटर इन्वेंट्री टर्न ओवर रेशियो तो सिंपली रिमेंबर द फॉर्मुला इन्वेंट्री होल्डिंग पीरियड मींस नंबर ऑफ डेज इन अ ईयर डिवाइडेड बाय इन्वेंट्री टर्न ओवर रेशियो तो 365 डेज इन अ ईयर डिवाइडेड बाय 9.53 यू विल गेट 38.3 डेज व्हाट डज दिस मीन द इन्वेंट्री इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू सेल्स एवरी 38 डेज दैट इज कॉल्ड इन्वेंट्री होल्डिंग पीरियड दैट्स ऑल This is the end of problem number eight. Now problem number nine. Following is the profit and loss account of Electro Matrix Limited for the year ended. So here debit side, credit side, debit side, opening stock, purchases, wages, gross profit, credit side, sales, closing stock. This is the trading account. Now profit and loss account, gross profit brought down two lakh one thousand. Interest on investment, profit on sale of investment. then uh, administrative expense selling and distribution expense non operating expense net profit 80000 this is the profit and loss account given now you are required to calculate gross profit ratio net profit ratio operating ratio operating profit ratio so four ratios you have to calculate the problem is very very simple straight forward problem specifically it is given four ratios you have to calculate the only thing you have to remember the formula for each ratio everything is given simply remember the formula apply the formula substitute the values you will get the ratio first ratio gross profit ratio the formula is gross profit by sales into 100 in the problem gross profit is given 2 lakh 1000 sales are given 5 lakh 60000 so 2 lakh 1000 by 5 lakh 60000 into 100 you will get 35.89% finished next net profit ratio The formula is net profit by net sales into hundred. So net profit is eighty thousand. So eighty thousand by five lakh sixty thousand into hundred, fourteen point two nine. Thirdly, operating ratio. The formula for operating ratio is cost of goods sold plus operating expenses divided by net sales into hundred. Cost of goods sold is not given in the problem. We have to calculate. So again, remember the formula. COGS is equal to sales minus GP. Sales are given five lakh sixty thousand. Gross profit is given two lakh one thousand. So five sixty minus two not one. Five lakh sixty thousand minus two lakh one one thousand. Three lakh fifty nine thousand is the cost of goods sold. Now we need the operating expenses. Operating expenses means uh, office and administration expenses plus selling and distribution expenses. these expense are called operating expense so debit side you can see administrative expenses 20000 selling and distribution expenses 89000 so 20000 plus 89000 1 lakh 9000 is the operating expenses now operating ratio cogs how much cogs 3 lakh 59000 plus operating expense 1 lakh 9000 divided by 5 lakh 60000 into 100 if you add up 359 plus 109 you'll get 468 So 468 by 560 283.57. This is the operating ratio. Next one is operating profit ratio. The formula is operating profit by net sales into 100. So operating profit is equal to gross profit minus operating expenses. So gross profit already we know it. It is given in the problem 2 lakh 1000 minus operating expenses. Just now you have calculated 1 lakh 9000. So here. Two lakh one thousand minus one lakh nine thousand ninety two thousand is the operating profit. Now operating profit ratio. So ninety two thousand is the operating profit. Sales five lakh sixty thousand into hundred sixteen point four three. That is the operating profit ratio. So ninth problem finished. Now I am coming to the tenth problem. From the following particulars, prepare the balance sheet. So again, some ratios are given. Reverse back, we have to make the balance sheet. Sales by total assets three. Sales by fixed assets. Sale by current assets. Sale by inventory. Sale by debtors. Current ratio. Then total assets by net worth. Debt by equity. Sales thirty six lakh. Last line it is given. Sales thirty six lakhs. So first of all, I am going to take sales is equal to thirty six lakh. Now one by one ratio we take up. All the ratio will make use. to find out the different values example first ratio is given sales by total assets it is given in the problem sales by total assets is 3 sales are 36 lakh 
तो इन प्लेस ऑफ सेल्स आई एम राइटिंग थर्टी सिक्स लैक डिवाइड बाई टी एज इक्वल टू थ्री नो आई मेक ए क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन लाइक दिस तो थ्री इंटू टी ए थ्री टोटल एसेट्स इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स लैक टोटल एसेट्स थर्टी सिक्स लैक बाई थ्री ट्वेल्व लैक दैट सो वन आइटम वी गॉट ट्वेल्व टोटल एसेट्स ट्वेल्व लैक सेकेंड रेशो इज गिवन सेल्स बाई फिक्सड एसेट्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव दैट इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम सेल्स बाई फिक्सड एसेट तो थर्टी सिक्स लैख रुपीज इज द सेल्स तो थर्टी सिक्स बाई एफ एज इक्वल टू फाइव अगेन आई मेक ए क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो फाइव एफ एज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स लैख एफ ए थर्टी सिक्स लैख बाई फाइव सेवन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वी गॉट टोटल एसेट्स वी गॉट फिक्स एसेट्स नाउ नेक्स्ट रेशो इज सेल्स बाई करंट असेट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज गिवन इन द थर्ड रेशो नाउ सेल्स थर्टी सिक्स लैख डिवाइडेड बाई सी ए इज इक्वल टू सेवन पॉइंट फाइव Again, I make a cross multiplication. Seven point five yeah, CA is equal to thirty six lakh. CA thirty six lakh by seven point five four lakh eighty thousand. That is the current asset. Next ratio given in the problem is sales by inventories. Sales thirty six lakh. So thirty six lakh by inventory is equal to twenty. That is given in the problem. So twenty inventory is equal to thirty six lakh. So inventory thirty six lakh by twenty. You will get one lakh eighty thousand. We got inventory is one lakh twenty thousand. The next ratio given is sales by debtors is equal to fifteen. That is given in the problem. So thirty six lakh rupees are the sales by debtors fifteen. So fifteen debtors thirty six lakh debtors is equal to thirty six lakh by fifteen. You will get two lakh forty thousand. The next ratio given is current ratio. The current ratio given is two. तो फॉर्मूला फॉर करंट रेशो करंट असेट बाय करंट लायबिलिटी सी ए बाय सी एल इज इक्वल टू टू बट करंट असेट ऑलरेडी वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड हियर हाउ मच इज द करंट असेट फोर लैख एटी थाउजेंड तो इन प्लेस ऑफ सी ए आई एम राइटिंग फोर लैख एटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय सी एल इज इक्वल टू टू नो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई टू सी एल इज इक्वल टू फोर लैख एटी थाउजेंड सी एल फोर एटी डिवाइड बाई टू टू लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड दैट सो नेक्स्ट रेशो इज टोटल असेट्स बाय नेटवर्थ इज इक्वल टू टू That is given in the problem. Now total assets here we have calculated. Total assets are twelve lakh. So twelve lakh divided by net worth is equal to two point five, and two point five net worth is equal to twelve lakh. Net worth is equal to twelve lakh divided by two point five. You will get four lakh eighty thousand net worth. Actually, net worth means shareholders fund. In shareholders fund, share capital, reserves, and surplus will come. But in the problem, there is no such information. So we assume. That share capital itself is the net worth. Now, debt by equity. Last ratio given in the problem is debt by equity is equal to one. Debt means long term debt, and equity means net worth. Equity means net worth. So, debt divided by net worth is four lakh eighty thousand is equal to one. Now, if I make a cross multiplication like this, so debt is equal to four lakh eighty thousand. Long term debt four lakh eighty thousand. Lastly, current asset normally consists of stock, debtors, and cash. Normally, these three items will come under current asset. Total current asset are four lakh eighty thousand. Total current asset, four lakh eighty thousand. And stock, how much is the inventory here? One lakh eighty thousand is the inventory. Then the inventory is one lakh eighty thousand. Debtors are, uh, debtors are two lakh forty thousand, and. Uh, Inventory debtors, cash, cash we have to calculate. So finally, four lakh eighty thousand is equal to one lakh eighty thousand plus two lakh forty thousand plus cash. So cash is equal to four eighty minus one eighty minus two forty. Sixty thousand rupees is the cash. That's all. We have used all the ratios and extracted all the values which are required for making the balance sheet. Now balance sheet liability side, capital. Capital is net worth. How much net worth we got? Four lakh eighty thousand. Long term debt. We have calculated the debt four lakh eighty thousand. And current liability. Here we have calculated current liability two lakh forty thousand. We assume current liability to consist of creditors. So creditors are two lakh forty thousand. So liability side total twelve lakh. Now come to asset side. Fixed assets. How much fixed asset we have calculated? Seven lakh twenty thousand. Take seven lakh twenty thousand asset side. The current assets consist of three items: stock, debtors, cash. The stock is one lakh eighty thousand. Inventories, inventories are the stock, one lakh eighty thousand. 
debtors 2 lakh 40 thousand and cash 60 thousand take the total 12 lakh balance sheet tallied the total of assets and total of liabilities are same so in this problem I have explained you three problems 8th 9th and 10th few more problems are there that I'll take up in the next video inshallah